Okay, I'm seeing something coming up on my news feed about the World Health Organization and how they want to get into a worldwide treaty. Apparently, any country that doesn't uh, notify the United Nations in writing that they don't want to be a part of this will automatically be a part of it. Of course, it's a foregone conclusion that Canada, my country, will be a part of it because our Prime Minister is a globalist wingnut. But um, right in the pocket of Klaus Schwab and all the rest of those, uh, well, you know, those individuals who want us to own nothing and be happy and eat bugs, um, yeah, that's if they let us, if, if, if the ones they allow to live, they plan to kill 90% of us. And th this is the thing here, uh, apparently this treaty with the World Health Organization, which will put them in charge of, of, of every country in the world that doesn't opt out, um, it will nullify constitutions, it will nullify the laws of the country, it will nullify the constitution of your country, everything. You will have no rights unless the World Health Organization says you do. And uh, apparently they want to do this for our own good. They want to protect us, you know, from deadly diseases and all that. And they need to have this power so they can do that. But ask yourself this. The same people that say they want to have absolute authority over us so they can protect us. Um, these are the same people that say they want to kill 90% of us. Hmm. Seems a little contradictory. Just something to think about, that's all. If this thing does get ratified um, in your country, wherever you are, like I say, it's a foregone conclusion, it'll happen here in Canada. Um, <clears throat> if it does, it comes into effect in December I believe so you know prepare to lose your civil rights whatever civil rights you have wherever you are if your country doesn't opt out of this thing all right we'll talk to you later